hello everyone so in this video i'll be walking you guys through on how to set up the project so for this for this particular project so we'll be using uh, react js together with uh, tailwind css so as you know tailwind css is actually a uh, it's a styling framework that's already been pre-written for almost all the all the styles all the css uh, styling effects can be just easily imported just by using uh, class methods so that's what we're gonna use so in order to have a react project to be made with tailwind css we can directly go uh, let me just go to the browser here and then i'm just gonna directly open tailwind css and there is a way where we can actually easily download this uh, i mean set up install the whole framework as you can see here we have we go to tailwind css and we go to framework guides and yeah this will be leading us to a set of framework that can be used to used to download uh, together with for example i like to directly go to uh, this particular white js because white js is the fastest way to download a uh, react projects react project nowadays so i'm just going to make uh, just going to make a copy of this and before that i can also like make just copy the first line if you, if you yeah you find this is uh, in a different way so as you can see we can go to open we can actually open in terminal and what we're gonna do we're gonna go to directly to desktop and i'll be pasting the first uh, command line which which is gonna be like this so as you can see here i don't want my project to be having my project so in this case i'll be changing to uh, react react tailwind strappy blog so this is what we'll be, we'll be using so react because we'll be using react as the uh, front-end framework tailwind for styling framework and strappy is the cms and we, it's, it's actually a blog by the way so this is what the title the name of the project is gonna be so let's i'm gonna click enter and there you go now we have already like downloaded all the dependencies now we just need to install install them so by we need to change the directory npm install and npm run dev so it's going to copy this lines I'm just going to paste it right here and of course paste anyways and it's currently installing those dependencies that it's just downloaded so as you can see it won't take really long this is going to take just a couple of uh, seconds and once it's done it will you'll be able to directly uh, run the file for example it says npm run dev so that's what it'll be running directly after this particular installation has been completed so as you can see it has already been uh, all the dependencies has been already been installed all you have to do just need to npm run dev which will actually run the whole project let's click on this and as you can see here this is the project uh, in, yeah installation example of how it has been already been installed so the next thing is that let's go to this particular uh, documentation again so we have already changed oh yeah we should be changing our project to uh, to our, i mean changing the directory to our project which i have already ch changed so in this case i have to close it for a while okay as you can see we are actually inside our project uh, directory so hence we have done the first step second step is to install tailwind css which is, we can just uh, can be done like this just copy this and paste it in here this paste anyway and then we need to initialize uh, all the uh, dependencies that's already been installed in tailwind and that's it we have all we have all been uh, done with the setting up with the tailwind uh, project together with react now all you have to do is just need to go to that particular project which we have just created which is this here so as you can see here we just need to open show more options and just open with code and what we're gonna do here we're gonna make sure we are happen to have all the dependencies uh, set and let's go back to these particular tailwind installation steps as you can see we still have a couple of couple more steps to do and the next thing is that we need to configure the template path so that in this case we need to go to tailwind.config.cgs and just need to paste all of this okay I'm just gonna paste copy this and I'll be just copying just pasting it right inside tailwind.config.cgs and instead of all of this here as you can see there's only pre-written text is already there so what you're gonna do I'm just gonna paste it on top and yeah we have just pasted all this uh, and the next thing is we need to go back to our in 
tailwind again and we need to install this particular uh, tailwind directives to, see, to your CSS so and this is going to be pasted inside index.css so it's going to copy it again so I'll just, just copy like this it's we need to be pasting it in index.css as you can see there's only like some pre-written styling here which we won't be needing it just going to comment it and we just need to keep only this directive directives here in index.css just to make sure we have fully pasted i mean saved all this file and the next thing is we need to go to uh yeah we need to make sure we run npm run dev just to run and yeah i mean that's not the step here we we, uh, we can actually run it after this after finishing the completing the last step and i'm just gonna save it for now save all okay and the next thing is the last thing yet if this is the app.jxx so just to make sure that i mean that this text tree excel uh, should work so that's what we'll be doing let's go to uh, app.jsx and i'm just going to paste what i've just copied the which is the last step which is this hello world uh, like format here as you can see we have only i mean exporting default function app so as you can see let's go to this particular link which has been generated and this link is where we will be able to see the uh, yeah as you can see here uh, now all uh, all this thing has been set and the reason why is because as you can see here it says tree excel and font has to be bold and has a, the underline in it so this is this is the way how are we able to test whether whether your tailwind project has already been set and let's before that we, we should also need to be copying uh, need to be having another few more uh, steps just so that we are able to uh, make mobile responsiveness and most of the responsiveness factors to be uh, solved in that case I'm going to paste a couple of new uh, lines of code directly inside tailwind.config.cgs here so what I'll be doing here is that I will be pasting a couple of uh, new lines of code inside uh, themes here so themes will be having a couple of uh, responsiveness uh, styling for example let's i'm just going to paste it for a while and you can actually get this particular uh, new code i just pasted from my uh, yeah source code that i've provided and and once you're able to access it just need to copy whatever you find it inside tailwind.config.cgs you're able to find all this new uh, Imported lines of code which I have just pasted. For example, screens here, which which will uh, which is which will be useful when we are using uh, uh, styling effect to make sure we are uh, designing based on the uh, separate uh, responsiveness. For example, we have a couple of responsive different responsiveness like this, and I've also made a certain uh, theme changes. For example, uh, the colors here, and also font family, and that's it. That's what I. This is what I've just added. So I'll like hit save and and yeah that's it that's it for now because this is this is the ultimate uh, first step to actually make sure you're able to uh, get started and that's it this is the first part of the video let's continue in our next part thanks for watching